Look, your tenant, despite what you might think, is a customer. Hey everybody, this is Scott Kraft with Pine Financial Group, where we work together so you succeed. You found us here on Facebook, you found us on YouTube, please like and subscribe so you can catch all of our great content that we put out every week. Today I'm here with Kevin Amelsch, and we are going to talk about three skills it takes to be a successful landlord. It's a tough business, and I know you've been doing it for a long time. In your opinion, what's the number one most important skill it takes to be a successful landlord? Ooh, the number one most important. So look, I think true wealth, Scott, and I think you and I agree, is built by owning long-term assets. Assets that are gonna spit out cash month after month after month. Rental properties is a fantastic way to do that, but it's not so easy if you don't know what you're doing. So I think the top skill to be a successful landlord is to be customer service focused. Look, your tenant, despite what you might think, is a customer. And so when you think about retail, successful retail businesses, it's customer service, customer service, customer service. So I think skill number one is to really be highly focused on serving that customer. Okay, and do you think that a lot of landlords are really customer service based? Because what I've heard is there's a handful out there that really give a bad name to landlords in general. Oh yeah. A lot of people that I've heard say 10% of landlords create 90% of the problems. So do you think a lot of landlords are being very customer service oriented? You know, I, I don't. I mean, some successful property management companies maybe, but the true landlords, I don't think so. Because look, here's what a typical mom and pop landlord think. Well, I'm gonna buy an investment property and it's gonna be passive income and I'm gonna sit it and forget it, right? It's just gonna produce. Well, that's not reality. If you want that kind of investment, you should look at our mortgage fund because that's a park it and it's gonna produce. But the rental properties is not passive. You really do gotta focus in on that customer service. Sure. Okay, what's, uh, what's number two most important? Well, you said about the regs, the regulations, and it's changing constantly. So how do you keep up with that? So a skill you need to be a successful landlord, you got to focus on many things, but one of them is focus in on those regulations because they are changing. Part of that is having a team and being diligent and calling and reading the articles that, like my attorney sends me articles on anything that's changing. So I'm constantly trying to stay focused and I want to keep up on the regulation. So it's good to have an attorney as well. Oh, you have to have a good attorney to be a successful landlord. Absolutely. Okay, so that's two. What's number three? The final one is just being organized. And I know that sounds so simple, but it's not so simple. Like what are the systems? What are the processes that you have in place? Like for, for us on our maintenance requests, we want the maintenance request in writing so I could track it. And then we could send that over to our contractors and our handymen to do the repairs. If I just get a phone call and say, hey, something broke, I'm always asking them, put it in writing. So that's one system that I've been implemented. But to be organized, it's not just that. It could be the software that you use. Is it an actual software or are you using a spreadsheet? So final skill to be a successful landlord is be organized. That's all great stuff, Kevin. I mean, it's a tricky business. And I think all three of those would really help anyone be a successful landlord. So if you guys have any other questions about this or anything else, please give us a shout. You'll find us at pinefinancialgroup.com.